Welcome to the first ever episode, world premiere of Pie to Pie with the man, the myth, the legend, Nick Camacho of Lucky Nick's. Nick started as a pizza pop-up in Pomona in 2020 and has since flourished all over Los Angeles. He pops up at Homage Brewery. He's done collabs with Woon. He's catered for Braindead Studios and Zabs and might have the best marinara pie in Los Angeles, in my honest opinion. I caught up with him at Melody Wine Bar. We had a great conversation. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I had having it. Nick, I love you. Thank you for doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Camacho of Lucky Nick's. Hope you enjoy. This is a segment called Pie to Pie, as you know. I'm gonna ask my boy here 15 questions. He has one minute to answer each one. First of all, I wanna give you a gift. Thank you. This is for you. Appreciate it. I got that for you because I think you're like a badass. You know, this gives me Terminator 2 vibes, mm -hmm. which is uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Yes. So you knew. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, AI's taking over. Thank you, dude. You ready? I am. All right. Who is someone in the industry you admire and why? Uh, I'll go with the first person that ever inspired me, uh, Anthony Mangieri. Uh, before I knew anything about pizza, I saw this tattooed looking guy, made pizza his own way, didn't really know what Neapolitan was. Um, I think when I started, I tried to, you know, ride that line of like really puffy soft dough. And over time, I think I've just taken his qualities of just doing things his own way, saying yes and no when he knows, not trying to appease to everyone. And um, yeah, so I, I would say for sure, that's still my number one, uh, you know, most inspiring person. Have you eaten his pizza? Dude, no. So the one time uh, that I did go to New York, it was during the pandemic. He was closed. They were filming for uh, that show that he's on, on HBO. Yeah. So the whole place was shut down. I was super bummed, but I still got to walk by it. And it was sick. So that was pretty cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your least favorite thing to make? Fuck. Calzones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yes, hate, I hate making calzones. And why do you hate making calzones? Because uh, just eat a fucking slice of pizza. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, uh, you can't, like, you can't really put toppings inside because you have to pre-cook them even more so. Uh, and then like sauce on the side. No, like just put tomato sauce on top. And then it's just like it's a hassle, especially with what we do. Like we're in the we're in the business of churning and burning. Yeah. Uh, you can't really do that when you're crimping dough and, you know, yeah. I fucking cow. I 100% agree. They never come out great either. I it, no. I've never like, I never look at a calzone and go, man, I'm proud yeah, of that thing. And it's like soup. What do you think about Yelp? Uh, it's one of the worst business concepts ever. It's just trashing on businesses that are trying to make an honest living. Um, I feel like most of the people that are on Yelp have never worked a day in their life in the kitchen. Um, and things happen, you know, like you can have the best meal in the world. That doesn't mean it was, it wasn't dropped on the floor. That doesn't mean that, you know, uh, the meat expired three days ago. Like there's so many things you don't know about a restaurant just by going inside and you had bad service, like get over yourself. I mean, you could have just been in there on the one day that everything that could go wrong did go wrong. That's my opinion. Um, I have friends and family that are like Yelp elitists and it like weirds me the hell out. Um, Number four, what's your favorite tattoo and why? Damn, damn you. Uh, I'll say probably my back piece. Okay. Um, so I have all traditional, so there's not really meaning behind any of them. I didn't like pick out, oh, you know what? I take that back. I totally screwed up. My daughter's names, both of them. I have Dottie. You were about to super fuck up. Yeah, yeah I mean, I had so many, I always forget, but yeah, sorry. So Dottie and Marlo, those are my daughters. So hands down, yeah, those are my favorite. I screwed up, I'm sorry, but yeah. Right, and so because they're my daughter's yeah, names. Yeah, yeah, but tell us about your real favorite piece. Uh, my back, my back piece, uh, to me, that was just something that I always wanted to have done. Long story short, I used to be like 300 pounds and I was really big and I like, I essentially lost weight because I knew that I wanted tattoos in, in the future, had skin removal surgery, did the whole nine, tightened up. And when I got my back piece done, I was like, damn, I did it. Okay. It was just like a little check, check mark. What is the best slice you have ever had? So it was definitely on my New York trip. Wah, wah. 
I know, but it wasn't, um, I mean, but see, this is where it gets, no, no, no. Okay, so I have two answers. Because New York was like, it's so hard because it was, I ate like 30 slices in a matter of like two days. So maybe my, uh, you know, my thought process was, was, wasn't right, but I had um, the sausage, brown butter, and sage slice from FNF Pizza in Carroll Gardens. That shit was fucking fantastic. Um, but out here, my favorite slice that I've had, uh, Apollonia's cheese slice. Yep. And I've said that before fucking What's-His-Face went in there and like gave it the high rating. No, you you said something different before <laughs> the bar stool. Yeah, we're actually we're actually homies. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. You're like, eight, two? I, that's my new favorite slice. <laughs> yeah. Bonus time. What do you think about bar stool sports? No. I'm, I'm just not a fan. All right. What are your three favorite ingredients? Um, Ezo pepperoni. That's always going to be my favorite. It's, it's got to be the Supreme. I love the black edges on it. The little char, the cups of... Oh, man. My mouth's just watering. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, so hands down that. Um, you know, I love mushrooms. Mushrooms on a pizza is always great. And, you know... I'm gonna say sauce just for the mere fact that one of my favorite pies is just a marinara pie. When when it when it's done right. Okay. When it when it's done really right. I don't I don't need cheese all the time. You don't need cheese. No? Yeah. We don't need cheese all the time, people. Take a break. You heard it here. Yeah, for real. It's, that's straight from Nick. And Buffalo Mots is overrated. Ooh. Ooh, Buffalo Mots, ladies and gentlemen, overrated. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe don't leave it on. Yeah. Stop putting it on everything. You know what else is overrated? Burrata, am I right? <laughs> It looks great. It's not that cool. You just heard a bunch of mom's feelings right now. Dude. What is the best and the worst thing about popping up? I'll start with the worst, and that is the setting up and tearing down. Um, it's a lot, you know. Uh, checklist, you know, the tent, the tables. Um, I mean, down to the oven, really. Like, it's not like we light it up and then drive around with it like that. So it's get, getting there two, three hours before. It's just a process. And then the tearing down, it's like, cool, we just finished, uh, we just knocked out 200 pies, and now it's like, oh, fuck. Now oh, it's time to tear it all down and load yeah. up, and then go back and go drop it off, and like that whole thing. Um, but the best part of it has just been like how organically we've grown. Um, you know, I, I, I don't want to say the money aspect, because obviously having a brick and mortar, it costs a lot more, uh, a lot of overhead. But, you know, just being in a new place, or also knowing our spots and having people come and seeing the lines grow every single time. And it's like a feeling of like, damn, we're doing it. Respect. Yeah, that's awesome. What is the greatest band of all time and why? Fuck. Not my favorite band. Like, does it? Yeah, doesn't it? It could. Um, you know, I'm going to say Queen. Solid. I mean, badass vocalists, guitar solos, they appeal to everyone. Yes. Like, really. Yes. Um, stadiums and just, like, having the crowd in the palm of your hands. Not many bands can do that, especially now. Unless you're Bad Bunny. <laughs> Respect Bad Bunny, dude. Bun, buddy, bun, 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 bun. Where do you want Lucky Nicks in the next three years? Honestly, just one brick and mortar. Preferably close to my house in Claremont, Pomona area. Um, be close to my family. You know, make an honest living. I'm not looking to have a million of these guys. I just want to be happy. I'm happy now. So even if it was this in three years, I think I'd be content. So there's so many, you're putting out great pizza. There's so many good pizza spots in LA now. I think that's more what I want to see. Just more good pizza. Yeah, and, and everyone being together, you know, none like none of this, uh, I'm better than you, uh, you know, we're all, we're all just trying to make good pizza. What's wrong with that? Yeah, respect. What did you want to be as a kid? Oh, uh, I wanted to be like a comic artist. I, I loved drawing as a kid. Um, I was pretty decent at it for being like an elementary and middle schooler. Uh, but as I got older, I kind of stopped. And then that slowly turned into making music and touring and wanting to be in the biggest band that I possibly could. Uh, I got to do some cool stuff, but yeah, it was, when I was a kid, it was drawing. So who knows, that might've led to tattooing or something. I don't know. Do you still draw? 
Uh, you know, no. I, I, I've, I have, everyone says I have nice writing. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't draw anymore. I, I'm not inspired to draw. What did you play in the band? Uh, when I started, I played drums. And then as I got older, I had a band where I sang and played guitar. What was the band called? Uh, there's a few. So the Motel Life was like one of the first major ones we toured with, uh, or that I was in that toured. Um, I sang and played guitar in a band called New Manners. Um, and then uh, I was in a band called Naive Thieves. And we were from Riverside, and that was probably the biggest band that I was in. Did a lot of shows like The Deer Hunter and that type of stuff. We, we sounded like The Strokes. We sounded Sick. nothing like all these, like, indie kind of, like, experimental bands that we were touring with. But yeah. well, Is any of that on Spotify? It's all on Spotify, yeah. You Check can, out all... Equal Vision might still have some records, so... All right. Go out and cop those, dude. Naive Thieves. Knives of Thieves? Naive. Naive Thieves. Love it. Knives of Thieves could have been Knives like a thieves, metal band. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, any way you cut it. What's the one thing you really look at when you visit another pizza shop? I think I'm always mostly intrigued with like, just the guys making the pizza. I always like seeing, you know, whenever I go to Hot Tongue, I see Andrew just fucking covered in flour and like running there and running back. I'm like, that's cool. Like, I mean, not to say that it's fun when you're like, you know, one, like when you're trying to make things work and you got one or two people and you're trying to do a bunch of things, but I appreciate those things. I like go, going in and seeing the hustle, but mostly, yeah, just seeing someone covered in flour, stretching the dough. You guys have nice pizza masters. So I like, you know, I like looking at the ovens. That's mostly it. I mean, obviously the decor is always cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, number one, I want to see someone back there struggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I like that. I like that a lot. What is one thing that every pizza maker should know? Um, man, are we trying to get like philosophical here? Dude, go into the depths. I mean, I've heard this too, and it's kind of like the best advice that I've ever heard is just like make mistakes. Because that's kind of how I came upon like the recipe that we're at now. I think the last six months has been the most consistent that we've been and it took a while to get there, but it kind of happened just, oh shit, I think I didn't put as much salt in this or that. And I'm like, oh fuck, it's more balanced or whatever. Uh, make mistakes and try new shit. There's so much, so many good products out, out there that are at our disposal. You know, like there's always people on Instagram that are wanting to push their product, whether it's a chili oil or something, just try it. Don't, you know, you're not above it. Worst case, you don't like it. Yeah. But make mistakes, Ab absolutely. What inspires your creativity? Honestly, like childhood memories, I think. I think for, I mean, maybe for you too, but like when it comes to pizza, I'm always drawn back to things that I looked forward to as a kid, whether that's like, you know, a certain topping or a certain cheese style. Like we used to use fresh mozz. And then I was like, why isn't this like not hitting it for me? And I realized, cause like I wanted fucking low moisture mozz, mm -hmm. you know? So I think I'm always going back to my childhood. What are my earliest memories of pizza? And that influencing the new way of thinking, which is wood fire, you know, sourdough, more blistered artisanal, if you want to call it that. Um, but my childhood for sure. Yeah. Describe uh, an, an authentic Los Angeles style slice. Ooh, um, I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass. I feel like when I had a hot tongue slice for the first time, when I had the classic, the classic, by the way, is like one of my favorite slices. Um, to me, that kind of hit the mark because like it's, it, you can tell it's inspired by like a New York slice. It's a larger slice, like a 16 inch type deal slice. But it wasn't like, I don't know there's vegetables on it. It was, you know, it's hitting the marks of a New York slice, but it's like, I'm not afraid to like dunk it in some ranch. Yeah, so to me, that would be like a quintessential LA slice because I, I haven't had anything similar to that. Like there's a bunch of guys that are trying to do the Joe's thing, you know. We'll like, let this one ride out since he's talking about me. But uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, for me per personally, I feel like that's a good interpretation. It's vegan. If you ate it, you won't fucking know that it's vegan. Like, who doesn't like veggies on their pizza? A lot of people don't. It blows my mind. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, as long as it's done right, you know. It's but, all balanced, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you're not going to put, like, shit ton of spinach on it, and then it's just going to be, like, a wet bomb. Yeah. 
Yeah, no doubt. But All right, make sure that uh, this one gets in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Venmo you later for that one. You're good. Yeah, just get me in another one of these. Yes, you, the uh, Terminator <laughs> keychain and classic slices for life. Okay, I think that this is the last one. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite movie as a kid? And what is your favorite movie now? Okay, favorite movie as a kid? Yeah, we loved National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation as a kid. Just brings me back. I could watch that all year round. Um, favorite movie now? My wife hates me for this, but Dumb and Dumber. Still, still. It's my favorite movie of all time. That's a classic. Dumb and Dumber. I remember I remember kicking the back of the seat. That was so funny. It's it's like, especially as a, I mean, I was probably like four or five when that came out. Um, but yeah, even as a kid, I was like, God damn, that was, I know I'm not supposed to repeat any of this shit, but it's pretty funny. Did you see it when you were five? Oh yeah, my dad was, yeah, yeah. yeah my dad didn't give a shit. I'm not like in a bad way. My dad was a great dad. Let's just, <laughs> put, just put that out there. But like my dad, my, my, my dad's a funny guy. Yeah. My dad's honestly like the funniest guy that I know. So it, yeah, it totally made sense that we were watching that stuff. Yeah. Thank you. I think that was 15. Maybe it was 13. We got some questions. We got some answers. Red. I had a great time. This guy's got to start cooking. Yeah, we're going to cook right now. Uh, appreciate you doing this. Good and is there anything that, else man. you want to you wanna say to the viewers out there? LuckyNicksPizza.com. Uh, our Instagram, at LuckyNicksPizza, is probably the best way to get a hold of us. LuckyNicksPizza at gmail.com. Uh, we have a bunch of pop-ups coming up. Uh, just check out our Instagram. We have everything there. Uh, and thank you to Alex. He's doing a lot of cool stuff for the pizza community. He's making it fun, and that's kind of what pizza's about, so thanks, dude. 100%. Thank you, dude. Pizza's supposed to be fun. We're going to link all that in the bio, homies. Thanks, player. Later. I don't want to miss out.